Just like the show. I'm the Trev. It's too sweet. Anyway, continuing on with my outdoor game reviews. And if you've missed the first one where I reviewed the inaugural outdoor game, the first Heritage Classic, check it out here. The link is right above you. So I thought, well, let's talk about the other inaugural outdoor game. This is the first winter classic. Let's talk about it. This is the first NHL winter classic. It's played on January 1st, 2008 at Ralph Wilson Stadium, home of the NFL's Buffalo Bills. As between the Buffalo Sabres and the Pittsburgh Penguins. The game comes just four years after the first outdoor game, which was the 2003 Heritage Classic. And it was the biggest difference between two classics. Though so this Winter Classic became an annual event after this game, whereas the Heritage Classic still took some time. And though this game did break the attendance record previously set by the Heritage Classic with a head count of 71,217. So well, well close to 15,000 more people. And while it broke that, it didn't break the temperature. The temperature at game time was 33 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius for us Canadians. The snow did make its presence felt throughout the whole game though. So it was basically called the Snowball. So here's a good look at the Sabres roster, captained by Yaroslav Spachek. Yeah, I know, it almost sounds like an impossible name to say, but it's not that hard, really. Ryan Miller was your starter in Buffalo. Coached by Lindy Ruff. And the Sabres just basically dug in the closet, pulled out their old jerseys that they wore from 1970 to 1996, and called it retro. And a look at your Penguins roster. George LaRock and Ty Conklin, both making returns to outdoor gameplay. Saverin was your backup. Captain by Crosby head coach was Michael Terrian. The Penguins jerseys were inspired by the jerseys they started wearing in the league in 1968 with the crest from 1973. And this is where true classic retro jerseys would actually start. Now, as I mentioned, the big story was Ty Conklin and George LaRock playing in their second outdoor games. But what's often overlooked and sometimes missed is Penguins forward Adam Hall and Sabres goalie Ryan Miller both played in the 2001 Cold War game. So they, the roots in this game are definitely well rooted just with the NHL's Winter Classic as well as the idea it came from. The action in this game picked up quick, like 21 seconds quick as Colby Armstrong opened up the scoring with his sixth on the season, assisted by Sidney Crosby, to put the Penguins on the board 21 seconds early. And with that goal, we also have the fastest get goal to start an outdoor game. And that was pretty much the productivity as far as offense was concerned in this game, or at least in this period. As the Sabres' Tim Connolly would take a hooking penalty at 422, the Sabres' Maxim Finneganoff would take another hooking penalty at 7.16, and the Sabres' Thomas Vanek would take a holding penalty at 12.17. And just to get his name on the score sheet once more, the Penguins' Colby Armstrong took a goaltender interference penalty at 13.02. With that, Armstrong's goal was all she wrote for scoring in this period. It's worth noting the Penguins outshot the Sabres 11-9. Second period started out much like the first, only not under a minute quick, more like a, a minute 25 quick. It's Brian Campbell 
would put Buffalo on the score sheet with his fourth of the season from Tim Connolly and Daniel Paye. After that, it was the Sabres showing off their defense, keeping the Penguins down to two shots in this period while putting up 14 of their own. Believe it or not, no penalties in the second period. So with that, ride one one game. Third period was more of a goaltending duel than anything, as both Ty Conklin and Ryan Miller let in no goals. Miller ended up stopping 12 shots, while Conklin stopped 7. So, really, what could be better than going into overtime in an outdoor game? Well, how about doing so on the power play? And that's exactly how the Sabres would go into overtime, as Colby Armstrong took his second penalty of the game, the only penalty in the third period, a hooking call at the end of the period. You'd almost swear that was script written, right? Anyway, we're going overtime. Now, despite the Sabres outshooting the Penguins seven to nothing in the extra time, and having power play to start, overtime solved nothing. So now we've had our first overtime game in outdoor history. Let's add our first shootout to outdoor game history. So Sabres start off with Alish Kotalik taking the first shot in the shootout, and he puts in the first shootout goal in outdoor history. Then it's Eric Christensen's turn and he misses, as does Tim Connolly. Chris Letang is up next and he manages to keep the Penguins in the shootout, putting one behind Miller. Maxime Finneganoff is next for the Sabres, but he misses. And that brings us to Cindy Crosby. Now, I really don't think I have to tell you what happens after this point. I mean, it's Crosby. It's a big type of game for the NHL. And it's two points on the line. I'm sure we know what happens when Cindy has the puck on his stick in a big game atmosphere. Really only one way that could end, right? Yeah, you guessed it. Crosby scored. And that ended the shootout. Pittsburgh comes out with the two points for the win. Buffalo gets the one point for going to extra time. But the oddest thing was the Penguins were outshot 37 to 25 for the whole game. But at the end, it's not how many shots you take, it's how many shots went in. That's all that matters. In a nutshell, that was the 2008 NHL Winter Classic. So quickly review, here's your shootout scores. Crosby got the game winner. Your goaltender stats. Yes, Conklin has two games in there. Miller I only put as one, or as the shootout loss because it was a loss in extra time, not in regular time. Team records, as far as wins loss is concerned in just outdoor games alone, that's what that is. And your outdoor game statistics. Now granted, it's a while before you see anybody in Pittsburgh and Buffalo, but they do show up. This will look better after we get into talking about more games. So for a first Winter Classic and a follow-up to the inaugural outdoor game, Despite all the hype and only having two goals scored in regulation, the fact that we got overtime and a shootout out of the way quick was awesome. The fact that it was so close the whole game, that made it great. It, it, was, it was nice to sit on the edge of your seat wondering who's going to score or who's going to make the play to make, to make the floodgates open as far as goal scoring was concerned. But the fact that Buffalo held Pittsburgh back I mean, granted, it was 08. Pittsburgh wasn't Pittsburgh, as far as how you know the team as now. But they were still a threat. They still had Crosby, Malkin, Latang, your usual suspects. And I mean, most people expected it to be a blowout, myself included. When it wasn't, that was a genuine shock. But all in all, great game. 
I still have to say the Heritage Classic was the better game of the two. But we'll get into those which game was better debates the further we go. So that was another one, Trust Hockey Shows. I want to thank you for tuning in. Don't think I don't appreciate the gesture, especially if you're right here. Algorithm help. You can never say no to algorithm help. So while you're here, if you're still here, give me that like. That red button that says subscribe all over it. Hit it. You know you want to. I know you want to. Subscribe makes you feel good. And you'll feel better for it. Social. It's in the description down below. Move forward. As far as outdoor games is concerned, we've got the two firsts out of the way. We won't have another first for some time. But we will move on to another Winter Classic, that being 09. So, give me some time to write that. But either way, in the meantime, and in between time, be looking for more videos from the Trev. Later.